Texas A&M is headed to Gainesville. And Florida, a three and a half point home dog, total of 46 and a half, 2.30 p.m. Central Time on ABC. That's right, part of this SEC on ESPN stuff. And I've got people that really like Florida right now. Colin over at uh, the Action Network just put in a play on Florida plus three and a half. Um, I can't get there, right? I mean, the stats model, A&M minus 8.52. Um, you know, about 20, 28, 29 to 20, somewhere around there. Uh, power rating has got A&M by about five and a half here. But, man, like, I want Florida to win, which I know sounds ridiculous, but I feel like I just want something good for Billy Napier to happen. <laughs> right? I know, I know that's ridiculous, but, like, uh, I don't know. Um, I think, yeah, Drew said can't let uh, Leonard or Link, Riley Leonard can't let Riley throw fifty one percent if they want to win. He's he's one hundred percent right. Uh, when it comes to Florida, there's not a stat on here that I feel good about with this team, other than they've been more explosive this year. They're number seventeen in offensive explosiveness, uh, number thirty seven in defensive explosiveness allowed, and they're number twenty in net explosiveness. Texas A and M is not explosive at all. Number 133 in offensive explosiveness. Number 131 in defensive allowed. Um, but their defensive success rate, like you're not going to be able to sustain drives on this defense. They're number 11 in success rate. Uh, rushing success, they're number 12. And that's the thing that Florida, I, I believe, would prefer to do, although they are passing the ball more than they are running right now. Uh, I, I think the A&M defense is good enough. And then on offense, A&M is running it at 56% of the time, whatever, 56% uh, clip. And I don't really trust Florida's defense. So I, I think when I look at it, you know, the five factors rank and everything else. Now, granted, A&M played a team that is not explosive enough in Notre Dame and lost at home. And Florida played a team in Miami that is incredibly explosive and will embarrass you if you do not find a way to stop them, which is exactly what happened with Cam Ward and them. I want to back the guys that are that are back in Florida. I can't do it. Yeah, give me give me A and M minus the three and a half. I just there's yeah, I don't see it. I do not see it with this Florida team. Thanks for listening to Winning Cures Everything. Make sure and follow me on Twitter at Gary WCE. If you want to toss in a question, you can email me Gary at winningcureseverything.com. Make sure and hit that subscribe button, and we'll see you next time.